Today is the International Literacy Day. For those of us who are able to read and write, we often take these skills for granted. But for many people out there who are not able to read and write, living in a changing world can be a big challenge. This is a class made up of students with different backgrounds and ages. But they have one thing in common. They're all determined to learn how to read and write here at the Anglicare Adult Literacy Program. Yeah, we just encourage them and motivate them. Papua New Guinea has a high illiteracy rate which affects all levels of society, as well as those in prison. Literacy is a problem. As we in Boma now, we have a mixed bag of people here. We have a problem in literacy in terms of knowing the exact dates of release, or such little basic things that they need to know to fill the names, the aids, or what. The majority of the inmates here are detainees are below that level of literacy. Prisoners only like reading all constitutional rights from all. I mean, I only find him hard. Now, only hard law. Look him one of something lawyer he write him long on. This play make him a time. Plenty only, only no savvy law. It's like reading and writing. Only go stand up to the courthouse too. Only Paul. By only walking one of them kind of talk talk. But there are other inmates who are literate, like John, who spend time teaching other inmates to read and write. But this is not easy. <laughs> Bomana Correctional Service has had several literacy programs conducted in the past to assist inmates. And this is where I feel uh, that the government uh, and more so from the education department uh, should also pay attention to the adult literacy programs. Deborah Prinis, National MTV News.